Hey guys, what's up? The old uh, PIP 4048 remote control project continues. And what we got in uh, today is the Bluetooth switch. And I showed the Wemo switch the other day. And what uh, I want to show you guys is uh, I'd have the Bluetooth switch hooked up to an amp. Let's put it up. And uh, you can turn it on and off here and you can set a schedule for it and uh, you know there it is right there you can go in and you guys see that you can edit it and I like the Bluetooth better than the the Wemo switch I think but uh, now I want to show you guys the the Wemo switch and this is what I was trying to show you the other day. Notice right here, the grid is on. Okay, now I'm going to hit the button here. I meant the grid's not on. I'm sorry. I got it backwards. The grid's flashing. Um, the uh, system glitched there for a second. But I'm going to hit this button. Now, the grid is on and the inverter is off so you see the grid light is on here and then over here you can see there is no power consumption other than the idling of the inverter which these inverters idle use a lot uh, this will vary between like 26 and 50 70 watts and that's times two so you have two uh sorry i'm trying to put the phone back there we go camera back up here and uh, now uh, to put the whole system back on so you can see everything you're going to want to watch here put the whole system back on the inverter just hit the button there now you'll see this will start blinking and then we go over here and you can see she's running the load and you notice the whole time during those switchings, you see no blinking, no flashing. Everything in here is powered by the system. So I'm so happy with that because, sorry, I'm trying to look in the camera and hold the phone. Anyways, I am stoked. And what I'd like to explain here is when you when you make the switch, like say we switch the uh, You switch the grid off, it's running on the inverter. Now when you switch the grid on, you'll see the grid come on. But the problem with I'm having right now is the it's still pulling a load, or not pulling a load, but it's still idling, and it's still uh, you know using some power. There's no need for that when you're on the, uh, the grid. So what I'd like to do and what I'm gonna do is be able to switch the unit off and when you switch the inverters off it will enable the grid to charge the batteries if you want it to you know if you have it set that way in um, your programming here charging source priority uh, I can have it disabled or not but it's it but that that's the ultimate control is uh, or the ultimate goal is to be able to um, at night have everything switch off and just use no power and use the grid so it'll work kind of like an inverter system and I gotta say I like the Bluetooth switch better than the Wi-Fi switch because the Wi-Fi switch has to have internet to work and the Bluetooth doesn't so um, that's pretty awesome so that's where we're at give you guys an update hope you're doing well Take care of yourselves, and I'll be updating you soon when I have the inverters on the switches and I'm able to operate that. I'll show you that. And then next will be the water heater, the air conditioner, and the refrigerator. And the coolest thing will be I'll be able to sit in the bathroom on the phone dialing in my solar system. All right, guys. Take care.